Good morning guys, so welcome back to today's video. Today's Friday. It's hard for me to keep the day straight because when Gabby has time off school, it feels like a weekend. And she has had the last two days off. Girls are still sleeping, it's 10 a.m. Still sleeping, re recovering from their sleepover with Elizabeth. They stayed up um, quite late. Gabby was out actually with a friend for a little bit and then she got home late and then they just stayed up so late. Horses are all having food. Kitty is never growing. Look at this cat though. Honestly, she she looks so much bigger in the camera, but she is tiny. She Nobody competes with her food. She gets all the food. She eats a ton. She's been to worms. She's been vaccinated, but she's just tiny. Super feisty right now though. <laughs> Super feisty. She's a, such a good, well-rounded cat though. She handles the dogs and she loves all of us. She loves Gabby best, but she loves all of us. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is time for these little chickens to move out into the chicken coop. They're starting to smell. I actually cleaned that thing yesterday and it still stinks. She's playing with the, with the kids' toys. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to today's video. It's Friday, like I said. I have a lot of stuff to do with the goats today. I know that some people are feeling frustrated that we aren't posting as much with horses, but it's because it's winter and we're not doing as much with horses because it's cold and it's hard. The ground is really hard outside, it's yucky. But I promise you, it is coming. We are gonna be doing a lot more with the horses very, very soon. We also just need to get past this kidding season, which is taking a lot of my focus. I still have a lot of preparation that I have to get done before the baby kids start arriving. But you go Guys, can we talk about the horse that Gabby tried? Holy moly. It's the day after. You guys haven't even seen the video yet. And I am trying to figure out what I need to do here. I, I haven't seen your reactions yet. I'm excited to see your reactions. That horse is so new to the barn. And Gabby brought her in, tacked her up, and rode her. And she was she knew her job. And she is everything Gabby doesn't want. A, a mare. A gray. Has shoes and a thoroughbred. All the things that are not on her list. None of those things are on her list, but she, they were like a team. Like that, Gabby said that that horse was super responsive, that if she asked her to move over, just, just gently asked her to move over, she moved over. She did everything Gabby asked her to do. She didn't put a foot wrong. Her, she didn't have any attitude. Obviously it was a new place, a new situation, a new bunch of kids, a new bunch of horses for her, but she managed so, so well. Hi kitty. Hi. <laughs> anyway. Gabby's the kind of person that if you like harass her about her decision, like, hey, do you want to try her again? Hey, do you want to possibly buy this horse? Are you interested in this horse? She gets stressed out and then she just doesn't want to talk about it. She's not someone that likes to be hounded with questions. Her dad is the same. Trust me, I've learned this. But this horse is going to sell fast. I already know horses like this don't stick around for a long time. I actually really, really, really like this horse. She's young and she's so quirky and so funny and so personable. She's very into people and wanting to be close to people and she's so friendly. She just was so sweet. I loved everything about her. The only thing that makes me second guess is her size. That's what Gabby, Gabby was able to look past all the other things yesterday, but her size. She is such a fine boned horse. Like she was so, so tiny and it felt weird to Gabby. And so Gabby really couldn't grow a whole lot more. She's 16 one, which is not a bad height for Gabby, but she's so fine boned and so tiny. She's like Lily, but Lily's chubbier and wider. And this horse was petite and she's super cute. I just don't know if for longevity, if that is a good choice for her. And I don't love the fact that she has to have shoes. Obviously she's a thoroughbred and that's like a big, huge trigger for me because Chino had bad feet and not even super, super bad, but it ended up being like a big issue in the end. And I want to try and stay away from thoroughbred type of horses. So we don't end up with a bunch of feet issues. That's just what I prefer. I still think like, What's meant to be is meant to be. And I still think that if the horse is a right, if the horse is a good, good fit and she loves the horse, then, and she let, and the horse is going to do what she wants to do, which this horse was very, had amazing work ethic, then it's worth overlooking the feet as long as you have like a good vet check. So anyway, that's where we stand. I'm excited to hear what you guys think of her. Our, what's that creature that sees a shadow? Groundhog. Our groundhog saw his shadow and that means six more weeks of winter and that sucks. But today I'm going to show you guys Sophie's favorite hen that we hatched out and my favorite hen. I'm just looking at her. She is gorgeous. 
you got pellets and stuff? Oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> you are cute. It's that time to move everybody around again this weekend. That's our plan. But look at this chicken. She is freaking gorgeous. I love a bald face or a white face. And she's an Easter egger. She's an Easter egger. She'll have colored eggs, hopefully. That's her mom with all the black and white. And this is her. Be careful. Like, she is stunning in every way. Lavender, and she is super cute too. I like her too, but I really like the white faced one. See how they all have those big cheeks? They're all Easter eggers, which he's is exactly though. what we wanted, but yeah, he's a rooster. Is this the one you want to keep? Probably. Uh, no. So this is one of my favorites. Snowball, snowball stuff. She's a silky cross, so that makes her a satin. That's what they're called. Lovely. And so she's no. not, doesn't look exactly like a silky. She doesn't have those soft feathers, but she's all white. Show her body. Like she is <laughs> like a little dove. She's so annoying, but so cute. That is not a sight that I like to see. <laughs> Sitting there waiting for me. Oh no, what, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> but I'm not bringing this down. <laughs> Nothing happened, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it happened to me too if I tried to do it myself. It just got it's cold out. How put all these back? I will, but I have like my hands full. Well, that's stupid. Uh, I debated leaving it. But I yesterday know. when Elizabeth was here, Sophie had a tumble on the ice. Okay, you're cutting that out. <laughs> and then today. The hay had a Move tumble. Your thingies. All right, so do you want to pull and I'll hold? No, come on, somebody's got to pull it and somebody's got to hold it. Come on, dad's at physio, let's just do this, get it done. Life with horses, sister. I pulled it the last time. What? I was dying. Yeah, Sophie's legs are killing her. Ah! This falls again, I'm leaving. No, because we can't leave it laying in the snow. Okay, wait. All right, without Sam, this is like rocket science. So Gabby came down to help us, and she jumps on top of it, and Sophie doesn't know. And then suddenly, why is my camera so? And then suddenly, Sophie's pulling Gabby and the hay. Gabby, help. I need to go check my goat. Because she might be in labor. Really? She could be. Who knows? Oh, I almost died. Oh. Are you We are getting everything ready for baby time. So we have lots of hay. No, she's not a baby. <laughs> Sylvie went to check to see if her. She's eating because she's a fatty. All right, we'll bring her in and let's see her. Go bring her in. The truth is, I don't know for sure when this goat is due because I know that she crawled under the fence and was with the buck for a whole day, but it's possible that she got pregnant on another date I after that. I assumed she was pregnant, but her utter development tells me that she's definitely due soon, I think. Oh, well, we're going to try, I don't know if my clippers are working well. You better not scare her. Yeah, we're gonna try and clean up her back end and shave her udder so that we can get good udder. Where's your pinky? Other, what? Where's your pinky? Where's my pinky? Wait, but it looks disabled. <laughs> disabled? Yeah. I have a disabled pinky. I'm frozen. There. All right, let's try this. What? <laughs> I got no sleep yesterday. Yeah, the girls both slept in really long today. You literally got no sleep yesterday. All right. Yeah. What do you mean by that? So I went to bed at two. So. So. And I woke up at seven. The areas that we're gonna clean up, Sophie. That's, oh, look at her. She's are her udder and
and right along her hair here. Look, see, when she's, good girl, when she's bending like that hurry up, and like not stomping, up. good girl, it means that she's accepting. So we finally got, it's like, they're growing. Oh God. You do it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take it off my own head. <laughs> All right, so I didn't catch it on camera, but she did really good about letting me trim her. Good girl. Yeah, such a good girl. She's a little iffy about the udder, but I'm just going to take my time and go slow, but she's doing really well. Poor Schmutz. <laughs> That's it's, her name, Schmutz. It's, she did so good. Look at all the hair. She hardly even moved her feet. So I just Poor cleaned God. up her tail a little bit. Cleaned up. I should do a little more right there. Uh, this is blotchy. Yeah, well, who cares if it's blotchy, it. Sophie? Oh my gosh. No, let's just let her go. Let me fix it. No, she did such a good job. Okay, let me fix turn it. her around here. There's one spot. It's there. the same on both sides. Do. All right, do you think she's going to make it more blotchy than me? <laughs> Can I make her bald? So, honestly, the only reason this goat is being so good is because we've been bringing her in and putting her on here and feeling her and touching her udder, and she's going to be a dream to milk. Sometimes if a goat needs a, especially a first freshener needs a little bit of help, they will tie them, hobble there, them to the table. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, but I think she's doing amazing and I think she See, just needs a little bit more time. It doesn't look as blotchy. Yeah, it doesn't look as blotchy. I wanted to leave as much hair as possible so she could stay warm. But look at, that's her udder, you guys. Look at that. I know. So, I would love to see the attachment be like, down a little bit lower, but it looks good. Like it's not a bad. It's not bad. Does she have udder transplants? <laughs> you said attachment. Well, so how it's attached. So for her to her udder to last the lifetime of her and to breed lots of goats and have well, lots of milk have for us. A million babies. No, but we are gonna have lots of milk from her. That's why you buy a dairy goat is to get lots but of milk. It looks good now. Yeah, it looks good. So when you feel it's her. Spiky. Feel from underneath. She's actually progressed. She doesn't care. Yeah, she's doing better. This one's as hard as a rock. This is jiggly. Jiggly is not good. Let me feel. Oh, God. Her belly keeps she poking out. I mean, she is huge. <laughs> she better be pregnant. <laughs> and watch. Poke, poke, poke. Imagine that's all fat. I've been robbed. <laughs> all that food just to make her chubby. Let me feel. He's so warm. He's so warm. Good. He's Everybody, do you think he's here. obese? My cat. My cat plays really gently. Your cat is, aw, cats love Gabby. She says she doesn't love them, but I think she I like does. Dogs better. But do you love horses? Cats are so annoying. Um, but do you think he's obese? Yes. <laughs> How though? I he's haven't heavy. filled his, I know, but I. My left arm is But dying. he's obese every winter and then normal in the summer. Well, that's good for him. <laughs> he's like, let me see the kitty. Let him see the kitty. No. He might, yeah, he might. Claw. Okay, like can you feed face. her, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. I'm a goat. She can eat a lot in a short amount of time. So these goats are being so good. Like you would think. When we first started bringing them in and putting them on the table on the milking stand, they literally were terrified. They would dance and dance and dance when we felt their udder. And now we put them on there and they're, she's getting shaved and she's been so good. Like I, I'm impressed. The last one we're about to do, I don't think she's going to be as good. But when they tuck their bum and they kind of squat down a little. Just stay at her head. That's them saying, okay, I, I understand. I give in. It's okay. Look, she's taking comfort from me. I'm a really slow person, but I would be doing that. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to try? No. <laughs> Have you even touched the goats? Yeah. Do you think you're going to touch the babies? No. We're going to name one Gabby. No, we're not. No. You are doing so good. We need help with the white one. That's why you're here. It's Gabby's day off, and we made her come down to help us with the goats because we were anticipating a lot more trouble than we're having. Like you are being such a good girl. Yes, you are. Put her in the stall with her baby and let her eat. Wow. I think she's a little uneven in the back end. Oh, shut <laughs> She'll grow. That is a lot of hair. <laughs> Gabby! 
Get off the hay. If the goat is super scared and nervous, we're just gonna do like a little bit today and then maybe fix it up. But there are several reasons why you might shave a goat. But look at this, you guys. It's above zero in the barn. So the first reason that we shave them and clean them up a little is that when they give birth and all the birth fluid goes all over them. Big? It's getting bigger. Um, it's way bigger than um, Mocha's. Tilly's. Yeah, Tilly's, Mocha's. yeah. Um, so, no, oh yeah. This is Tilly. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. So anyways, the reason that we shave them is so that the birthing fluid doesn't get all over and make a mess. And when it's cold out, it's really difficult to wash them. So we want the minim most minimal amount of mess on them as possible, especially if it's cold and you can't get that stuff off, then they're just going to be cold. And then the other reason is that when you milk goats, which we'll be doing, all the hairs and stuff fall into your milk. You have to filter it, which is fine but it's just better to have less hair to fall into your milk. I cut her t I cut Why? their tails. It's so ugly. I know, but it's like It's like cutting a horse's forelock. I know, you guys probably don't care about this part, but look, she's growing a lot. See good girl. Good girl. See when she does that? That's You didn't even cut the sides. I did cut the sides. She doesn't need like ooh. She doesn't, I cut the sides up here. She doesn't need, okay, they're not good. We're not good at this, you guys. Hey, Nobody is yeah, pretending that we're experts. Right, <laughs> Honestly, look at how good this goat is getting. She is getting so good. It just shows you that, goes to show that we need to work with her more because I'd love to keep her. And she's not aggressive with people. She's just mean with the other goats. And she's not even overly mean. Check her out, Sophie says. Wow. Perfect. <sighs> She's the longest goat. I mean, that's a lot of hair off, but all right, whatever. Billy, Billy, Billy. It's okay. So don't I'm this. <laughs> huh? Wherever Gabby goes, there's an altercation. She's like, I got a broom and I'm not afraid to use I got it. Go. Ow. Okay. All right. Sophie's worried about me making the goat's tails ugly. No, it's still cute. No, it's Oh my gosh, get out of the wheelbarrow. Dude. What? Dude. <laughs> Gabby's like, oh, that's gross. Oh, it looks good, Sophie. I know, I'm great. Stop headbutting the baby. He's eating orange peels. Everybody out. No. <laughs> Everybody wants to come in. I love it. I think it looks way better shaped. So. Don't scare them, they're pregnant. You go. No. There we go. She's so fat. She still loves to be carried by her mama. Here you yeah, you're really cute, All even right, though you you're a devil. Let's go. Alright, thanks for your help, Gabby. Sophie actually did the best job. Tilly, the last one we did, it was the best. Turned out the best. Right. Yeah, she did they did really good though. I'm so proud of them for see, like see look at her. She's so uncomfortable because she's Yeah, there. our goose. Our goose has actually started laying more often now. She's laying like every two days. And she's ready to lay. And you can see she's got like a big egg down in there. And her wings. And her wings she puts to the side. It's literally becoming treacherous. Everything is kind of on a hill here. Look, But look, you can see the snow is going. Oh. Why does it seem like there's a horse missing? Penny. Where is she? Here, can I have a mint for my girl? We brought some mints. Okay. Oh, they heard the bag. They heard the rattle of the bag. Who's gonna get to me first? <laughs> hey. What is wrong with your blanket? Every day, same thing. Let me see. Hey, let me see if you like surfing. All right, let's see. So for the record, we don't give our horses a lot of candy, but once in a year is not gonna hurt them. We just wanna see if Storm likes it. You don't get it, because you already had it. I don't know what happened to my horse. She's got friends. She's got guards. Yeah. Where is my horse? It's not in the field. There's a horse across the road, and he lives by himself. And sometimes I see him, he'll like race Sam's truck. <laughs> and sometimes I see him, and he, well, posi position himself in a corner of his hey. field. Hi. So that he can see the other horses. She knew we were coming for her. What's wrong? Why are you here all by yourself? 
Storm. She's like, I'm gonna beat him. I'll be here before him. Storm, you don't like me. Why is she off all on her own? See, if she was a goat, I think she was in labor. You don't like him, Stormy boy. He even smells the bag to see if that's all I have. Hi, oh, princess. I just have a mint. That's all Sophie would give me. That's for you. Why are you off on your own? I don't like that. Penny has autism. Yeah, and her eyes are so much better this year than ever before. So it must be the wind. That's what the vet said, it's the wind. Okay. Just wait. Wait, let me get it. If you drops in the snow, I'll never find it. Thank you. You're such a pretty princess though. She doesn't like to stand at the round bale and share. So Sam puts hay in this barn here, inside, so she can come in. Stormy. Yeah, that's all I have. And Poor Stormy. See if that's all we have. Do you know, given a choice, so Gabby still likes Storm over all the horses that she's ever tried. Fix your blanket, Storm. Yeah, I'm sorry. We got nothing good for you. Penny, don't be so picky and you'll like everything. Right, Pen? Don't. Okay. It's because I was messing with this and he thinks, oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. All he did was pin his ears. He turned his head and pinned his ears and she threw a massive fit. We're gonna grab something that Storm likes. Go grab some of his brains. Yeah, I'll get him something he likes. See, this is where we throw hay for whoever doesn't, can't handle being at the round bale today. Penny, Penny never eats in here. The ponies do sometimes in the morning. There you go, buddy. I think Penny was probably in here eating. Yeah. That's it, look at how brown he's gotten around his nose. No. <laughs> All right, we're going in now. Sophie is hobbling everywhere today. And you know what's worse? Two days after your ride is when it's the worst. Last year I gave up caffeine, I told you guys. I don't drink it anymore at all, and I feel amazing. It's a lot better for me not to have caffeine. I've always been sensitive to it. I don't know why I put myself through it. See, I'm but gonna talk tree because it started to fall. We lost a tree this winter. Oh, really? Yeah. No. It looks like it's fallen way more. What? No. Totally yes. Anyway, we'll get rid of that in the spring. So anyway, this year I gave up sugar. So I don't drink. I very rarely drink. I will have like a drink at Christmas time and at New Year's and maybe one in the summer. Just one drink. But I don't drink very much and I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't... Uh, Why get obsessed with something that's expensive? Yeah, Sophie says, why get obsessed with why get obsessed with something that's expensive? She says, we've already done it. Horse, horses, chickens, goats. But I don't drink caffeine or smoke. And this year I gave up sugar. It's been like a month now and I feel so much better than ever before. I've always been sensitive to sugar. I don't know why I put myself through that but I'm done with it. And the fact that I don't eat it always makes me feel like I don't crave it. And not craving it is half the battle. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments of some video what you think of the horse Gabby trod. I love her. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?